Professor Monty from ProfessorMontyEnglish.com here, and today I have a great video about the past and different ways we can express things in the past. So we have the past simple, used to, and would. That's the focus of this video. The first thing I want to say, guys, is that the past simple, we need to use that if something only happened, you know, once. If it's a specific moment in the past. For example, I went to hockey practice yesterday. I went to hockey practice yesterday. That's a specific moment, right? Yesterday. You would not use, I would go to hockey practice yesterday, or I used to go to hockey practice yesterday. No, 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 that doesn't make sense. Okay, so for a specific moment, use past simple. Leave that with past simple. Um, but you know, you when you want to express something that's a repeated action in the past or something that was true in the past and not true now, you're gonna use used to or would. And that's what we'll talk about right now in this video. So the, uh, not the first thing, but the second thing I want to tell you is that used to, we'll start with used to, used to is used for states and actions. States and actions. So what are states? Well, I've said this in a lot of videos, states are just not actions. So it's not something you're doing. So for example, I live in Toronto. I live in Montreal. Yeah, doing a different accent. I live in Toronto, I live in Montreal. I live in Kingston, I live in New York, okay? Living somewhere, it's not something you're doing. It's just something that's true, right? It's sort of like a fact. Um, so those are states. Those states, if something was true in the past and not true now, we like to use used to. So for example, I used to live in Montreal, but now I live in Kingston. So I used to live in Montreal that was true in the past, right? I lived in Montreal, but now, no, okay? But now I live in Kingston. And you want to emphasize that it's not true, okay? You can use the past simple here. You can say, I lived in Montreal, but now I live in Kingston. But the tendency when you want to emphasize that something's not true in the, you know, anymore, is to use used to. So, you know, you have this used to, and the form is really easy, guys. Just take your used to and add your verb. Don't conjugate the verb, anything, just add the verb. So I used to live, okay? But when we're speaking quickly, we don't say I used to live, or I even worse, I used to live. No, no, no. What we want to say is I used to live. So this O in the to, it's not stressed like in, who are you talking to? No, it's not stressed, so it's, I used to live. I used to live. You try it. Fantastic, so, I used to live. So, it's not stressed. Ta, ta, okay, uh, uh. It's, it's the schwa sound, it's called, okay? So, I used to live. So that's the positive. But used to can also be used in the negative for something that was, you know, not true in the past and there's something different now, right? So for example, he didn't used to be so mean. He didn't used to be so mean. Note that there's no D here, okay? We take it off for the negative. So he didn't used to be so mean. That means that before he was a nice guy but now he's a bit of an arse, okay? He's not nice. Um, he didn't used to be so mean. The same thing with the question, we take out the D, you know, scratch it out and say, for example, did they used to have a shopping center here? Did they used to have a shopping center here? Okay, so that's something you're asking whether, you know, they used to have it there, all right? As opposed to now, they don't have it. You see. So yeah, that's very interesting with used to. Used to can also be used for actions though. So 
For example, uh, my sister used to play hockey five times a week. Okay, some a repeated action, something you do, you know, probably you've done a lot, right? Or and maybe you don't, and you don't do it anymore, or you do it less now. So if I say my sister used to play hockey five times a week, but now she only plays twice a week. Okay, so she it was a habit in the past, right? A habit in the past, and it's not true anymore. So we can use used to like that as well. Moving on now to would. So would, we don't want to touch it with states. So you would not say, I would live in Toronto, but now I live in New York. Okay, no. So you'd say something like, I lived in Toronto, but now I live in New York. Or I used to live in Toronto, but now I live in New York. Okay, so for states, we don't want to touch that. But for repeated actions, we can use would, just like we did with used to. So she would play hockey. Okay, she would play hockey five times a week. So that's really, what is really emphasizing that it's something in the past, something that was a repeated action in the past, okay? And with would, there's often the tendency, uh, not the tendency, but it's often related to something nostalgic, okay? Not always, not always, but it often is. So for example, um, my father, would take us on amazing holidays, on amazing vacations when we were kids, okay? So that's something I'm looking back on fondly. When you look, on, look back on something fondly or you know, you're nostalgic about, about it, you're like, oh my gosh, what great, great memories. Okay, so that's, you'd use wood a lot for past actions that bring up that nostalgic feeling inside. For example, my mother would make us the best, I don't know, panettone at Christmas, okay, uh, when we were kids. So my mother would make us the best panettone, okay, she would make us the best panettone. So it's something that, that was true, you know, an action in the past to make, right? That's an action. So remember guys, wood is for nostalgic things usually, okay? Not always, but usually, and only for actions. Whereas used to can have actions and states. And then past simple, you can use it, you know, whenever you like, okay? But you don't have that emphasis there. You're not emphasizing that it's a repeated action or you're not in the past, or you're not emphasizing that it was true in the past and not now. Okay, so English speakers like to use used to and would to distinguish little things there. It's a bit tricky, I know, but don't worry, you'll get the hang of it, okay? Don't, guys, don't get confused about would for conditionals, like if I had eaten better as a child, I wouldn't be, I don't know, I wouldn't be so fat now, okay? Don't get confused with that. This is a different type of wood. This is a wood for past actions. So wood can also be used for past actions. So guys, that's it. And make sure for single actions in the past, only use past simple. That's the last thing I want to say, just to reiterate that. So I went to the doctors yesterday. You don't use used to or wood, okay? Do not do that. So guys, that's it. If you're on the website, continue with the course, do your exercises. If you're not, go start the course. Thank you so much, guys. God bless. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. And yeah, thank you so much. Bye-bye. God bless you.